Hi, it's Tracy. G'day, and that's Elsie. And welcome to our global travels, where one and a half of us are going to show you how to have a great time anywhere in the world. Lots of food, adventures, fun things to see and do. Trains, planes and automobiles, whatever it is, we're going to have a go. So make sure you subscribe to our series. Have a great one. Bye. Hey guys, Elsie. Okay, as I've often said, you know, it's so good after a workout or a walkout, whether you walk and you're working out or you're working out to work out or whatever. It's good to move your body. But one of my favorite things to drink in the morning or at any time really is this. It's BSC and it's the, um, the Burn Lean 5. I love this. This is the vanilla. I'm gonna show you how easy it is and how nice it is to make a shake sometimes when you're doing your walkouts or your workouts or your walks. Um, I like this, but I like having this with my fruit, my banana and strawberries mainly, and I make it in my Nutribullet on a lot of water, but I do like a dash of milk. I don't know why I do. It's probably only a tablespoonful of milk, but it's what I like. It might be a mental thing with me that I just think it's made on milk, but mostly ice and water. Let's get started, huh? Loads of ice and water. And as I said, don't know what it is with me, but I like a dash of milk and I like full cream milk. I don't like skin milk in this. Just a dash, like a root. That's it. Then my fruit. Um, these bananas have been great lately because they're not too big. I just roughly chop her up, chop her in. Same with strawberries. I normally, five strawberries is enough for me. Choose whatever you like. Now, this is the vanilla, as I've said, and I love, look, love this. If you're training and you need more protein in your diet, you can use up to three scoops if you like. Alrighty. So this is like my little morning routine I do. And in we go, it's gonna be noisy, I'm warning you. Because I've told you how old I am, like mid 50s. Who knows strawberry quick? This is exactly what it looks like. Oh God, I love it so much. Check this out. Oh yeah. It's so good. You know what I often do too in summer with these? Is a lot less water and more ice and it turns out like a frappe, like an ice frappe. How good is that? Love it. Morning. Well, nothing nice than after a bit of a walk out. A walk out? A walk or a workout, so I'm calling it a walk, walk out. New name, I like this, walk out. Is to come home and have some brekkie. How cool are these machines? Has anyone ever seen these? They're like a five minute chef. So you, you turn it on, leave it for a couple of minutes, the green light comes on and then you do your eggs, you crack some eggs, you can make omelets, you can actually even make a dessert. Okay, cause this is such an easy piece of equipment to have in your kitchen, which I, I just really do love it. While it's cooking, it's not like you're over a stove and having to stir things up and yada, yada, yada. So my next job while it's cooking for the three or four minutes is feed the menagerie in the house, which is the birds. So my eggs are still cooking, by the way. The rest of the place gets their feeds. So it's only been about maybe, you know, three, maybe four minutes. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, looks great. It's all ready to go. Turn the power off. Always use like a rubber or a silicone implement. Don't put your, these tongs in, you know, like your, your metal tongs because of the special coating that these pans have. Always invest, can't recommend enough, invest in these, the silicone based things. All right, so how good does this look? What about that? There's the egg, but look at how easy this folds out. Check it out. Lift it up, put it on the plate. Oh, yum. I've got little crackers on there. And why have I got little crackers on there? Because I've still got to feed the other part of the menagerie in my house. Thank you, baby. Okay, taste test. Oh, how good does this look? You love these, don't you? I do love these, yes. Oh, oh, very hot. Heaps of heat, eh? Mm. Super tasty, love. Super tasty. You know, that five minute chef has been one of the best things that we've bought. You've done so well with that. Morning. Wow. Brekkie time. 
Today, no shake for me. I'm actually gonna do some, just some simple fried eggs in the frying pan this morning. We've got some googlies here. And they feel really nice weight too. They're not too big, because I don't like to have too big eggs. There's different size eggs you can buy these days. Crack them in the pan, spray, don't use oil. I think that um, it's unnecessary really to use too much oil in things in your cooking, you know? Depends on what you cook really, doesn't it? And here's my eggs. Mm -mm. Avocado on seeded bread. With a cup of coffee. Have a great day. Some friends of ours have just recently returned from Japan. And before they went, they were telling me about this delicacy that they have over there, knowing that I would love it. So funnily enough, they brought some back. It's actually called Royce Potato Chip Chocolate. Now, one of the things that I love to eat, uh, actually, potato chips, like Smith's chips, and Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate. Yes, together. Bit weird, right? This encompasses it all, and it's called Royce meaning that it's the Rolls Royce of chocolate. Let's see how good they are. Oh, chocolate coated chip, chip on that side and chocolate on that side. If anyone thinks that they're getting any of these Royce potato chocolates, potato chip chocolates, they've got no idea. They're all mine. They are sensational. The only thing that I would change because the chocolate is that I would store them in the fridge. So, but actually, that might be bad. It might make the potato chip go a bit soggy, but I still got to see. So, Thomas and Elaine, thank you. Well, we hope you've enjoyed that video. Make sure you click subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we post. Tune in on all my social media and I'll see you then. Cheers.